Welcome back to the Old Greenbelt Theater. We're joined by Kelly and she's going to tell us all about what's coming up for this week and what you can look forward to. So Kelly, let us know. Yeah, we are showing three different films this week. So we're back for, for the three films a week. Uh, and we, the first one we're bringing in is Capernaum. It is a Lebanese film and it uh, was the Lebanese entry for the Academy Awards for Best Foreign Film. Uh, it's gotten great reviews, uh, really, really interesting film focused on a 12 year old Lebanese, well, Syrian refugee living in Lebanon. Um, wow. It's, it's in Arabic, subtitled in English. Um, and the thing that I have found most interesting about the film is it was actually shot with folks that the director found who were in those life situations because she wanted it to be very authentic. So the little boy who plays the main character is a 12-year-old Syrian refugee who's oh living gosh. in Lebanon. Um, and she, she had a basic storyline that she wanted to tell, but she adapted the script to let them write the story. So it's, yeah, and, and of course the, the reviews are, it feels so authentic. It's a whole new life experience. It's an insight into, you know, something totally different. And so, um, and I think you get that flavor because of the way it was made. Wow, yeah, and that's kind of like Cold War where they were saying that the, the mm -hmm. director kind of molded it as it was going yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and you saw that with Roma too, yeah. whereas the actors in Roma were not professional actors. Um, and so, yeah, I think it gives a very different feel to the film than, than you get when very you're dealing with Very not American too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is really cool to see. Yeah, and Capernaum was originally, it was a 12 hour long film um, that got edited down and down and down to the, to the version you're gonna see in our oh, theater. Oh wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, so. So that's our first film this week. And then we are bringing you Mary Poppins Returns. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're very excited to have that at the theater. Um, we wanted to bring in, after a lot of the Oscar films, not so kid appropriate, we wanted to make sure we had a film that for the whole family to enjoy. So, so we've got Mary Poppins Returns running all week this week. And wow. our last film we're bringing in, we're bringing Free Solo back for a couple screenings this week. We just have four screenings of it, but it won Best Documentary at the Oscars this year. So we did show it back in November, but we wanted to bring it back for a couple screenings. Just in case anybody missed it, you can come out, or if you want to see it again, I would love to see it again. It's just a fantastic documentary. It's just breathtaking. Oh, um, wow, yeah. That's one I haven't seen, so maybe I'll come out yeah, to see this next screening. Yeah, definitely do. It's just, it's an astounding, I mean, the, the, the documentary is about a man who climbs El Capitan in and, yeah. and Yosemite National Park, which in and of itself is an incredible feat. But for me, being interested in the filmmaking process, um, I totally see why it won Best Documentary because the work these filmmakers had to do to get the shots that they got and, and they, you know, they were having to climb and, and put cameras on precipices and all kinds of right. stuff to get this film. So, uh, so it's just absolutely an incredible achievement. And I relate to it because that was my operating system for you know most of <laughs> most of the time that I've had my yeah, Mac. There you go. There you go. Another <laughs> entry into the film. So I've been seeing that mountain for yes, ages, yes, and you yeah, know, got to yeah. see the guy actually climb yeah, it. Yeah, it's. That'd be crazy. I mean, it's, it is nerve wracking, um, but but absolutely astonishing. And and he was at the Academy Awards, so. You know the outcome. He didn't. Fall he off did not that. die. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He he survived. So it is a nail biter, but you you know you ultimately know he made it out okay. That so. is great to know. <laughs> yes, yes. So so those are the three films we're running all week this week, and awesome. then we have two specialty events we're bringing in as part of our stage on screen uh, series. We're bringing in Oscar Wilde's An Ideal Husband. It was filmed live during a performance at the Vaudeville Theater and uh, just really excellent performance there. So we're bringing that in. That's going to be playing Sunday, March 10th um, at 8 p.m. and then Monday, March 11th at 1 p.m. So you'll have two Very opportunities cool. to come out and see that and it's a great production. And then on Monday the 11th as well, we have our story time on screen. Um, so that's a free program. It starts at 10.30 a.m. for children birth through about five years old is what we recommend. And it's, 
done in collaboration with the New Carrollton and, and Greenbelt libraries. And we have librarians come out and they read stories that we project on the big screen. Um, so you get to see books at a very large scale, which is, is quite fun. Yeah. And then... And, and then it's we, always a fun surprise, right? And it's always a fun surprise, yeah. So the librarians choose. We we don't know what's coming up. Um, but they choose two books and a short, short movie, something along the lines of, you know, different PBS kids um, productions and that kind of thing. And um, it's just, it's a great time for little ones. They get free mini popcorns. Oh, that's uh, great. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a great thing to come out and do, let them run around the auditorium a little bit. Well, that's great. And I'm guessing that's that's all there is for that's this That's what week? we've got. But um, everybody should check out our We Hope to Get page on our website. If you go to our website and then we've got a menu that says Films, there's a drop-down menu from there that's got We Hope to Get. We're actually starting to book out films a few weeks in advance right now. So coming up that's next exciting. week, we're going to have Apollo 11, which is a new documentary about the Apollo 11 mission. Um, so that's coming up, and we're scheduling a ton of other great movies. We're hoping to get um, Gloria Bell, um, the new Julianne Moore movie. We've got, we're trying to book um, The Aftermath, which is Kira Knightley's new film. So we are, we're already hard at work kind of booking things out for you. So um, folks should go to that website because we're going to be announcing open dates pretty soon. Yeah. That's great to hear. Yes, yeah. Thank you as always for telling us. Sure. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.